For the next few weeks, we're featuring monster fish at the Tennessee Aquarium. They're part of a new exhibit thanks to Zeb Hogan, National Geographic, and the University of Nevada. The exhibit is all about the world's largest freshwater fish. Now, to be a monster fish, Zeb says the fish have to be more than six feet long and weigh more than 200 pounds. Here's a look at one of them, the American paddlefish. Unlike anything you've ever seen before, Zeb Hogan, a National Geographic fellow, tells us about the American paddlefish. It's a very unusual looking fish. For anyone who's ever seen a paddlefish or caught a paddlefish, uh, it gets its name from its long paddle-like snout. And Zeb has caught one of these paddlefish. Check this out. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big fish. It's a monster, it's a hog. Oh, she's beautiful. American paddlefish have been swimming in North American rivers for millions of years. They live in the Mississippi River, but the most healthy populations are up towards Montana in the Yellowstone or Missouri River. Back at the aquarium, this truly is how large paddlefish can grow to be. Six to seven feet long and close to 200 pounds. They have a very unusual body shape and are rubbery. They get very large. They're scaleless. Their bodies are similar to sharks and they have small eyes and a large mouth. And the paddlefish, it gets its name from this paddle-like snout. So very long, slender snout, and it uses this snout to detect microscopic prey in the water. They open their mouth very wide, like a, some species of whale, and filter feed, filter the water and filter food out of the water as they're swimming through the water. Bye, girl. For a big fish, they have very small food. A lot of caviar we eat in the United States actually comes from the paddlefish. They're a relative of sturgeon, which also produce caviar.